Meditate with Purpose by Stephen C. B. Hartley Published by Wonderful Being First edition, published January 29th, 2021 Thank you, love. Thank you, Jesus. Contents page Introduction Chapter 1 Chapter 2 Beginner Chapter 3 Rules Chapter 4 Get Happy Chapter 5 Advanced Chapter 6 Common Blocks Chapter 7 Ways to Aid Meditation Chapter 8 Human Being Chapter 9 Thoughts Chapter 10 Feeling First Chapter 11 Bliss The Beginning Introduction Note from the author After making vlogs for 10 years it's time to write a book. As it is my first book, it is on the most important subject I can write about. It is also the area that I have the most expertise in. I'm not kidding myself, I am no writer. Storytelling is not my thing. Therefore, this is a very short book, but each line of text could be pondered on for hours. From 2014 to 2018, I meditated most days, quite often all day. I had my reasons, it was meant to be. I remained engaged because it produced results, and I'd like to get some important information written down. Chapter 1 If you have to wait 15 minutes for a bus, can you happily sit still? No. Go to chapter 2. Yes, go to chapter 3. Chapter 2. Beginner. Never stopping is the way many people cope in this world. Being too busy to stop and think can provide you with an okay life, but it often builds up more and more tension until the inevitable snap. With a straight back, Sit still for 15 minutes. Do not scratch an itch or shift your position. Just focus your attention inside yourself, your core. 15 minutes is enough to at least feel recharged and in most cases present something of interest. The first time I did it, I sat at the top of the stairs. For about five minutes, I kept thinking it was pointless and there were better things I could be doing. Then I saw a quick vision of a young Indian boy doing something with his hand. I also felt very relaxed. The vision intrigued me and the refreshing after feeling kept me going back for more. After you have tried for yourself, you will hopefully be burdened with questions. With one being, how can doing nothing provide something? Maybe even the thing. Chapter 3 Rules Straight back. Although not always essential, it is so beneficial for fluids to flow and is the best way to improve your posture. Number 2. Core focused. Although you'll be aware of many sensations away from the core, it should mostly always be directed towards the core. Your core is your power. Your core is you. Number three. Love, love, love. Love is the answer. By loving the process, you are engaging with love, an essential part of our purpose. Number four. Don't skip. Don't ignore anything. Often the thing we must look at is the last thing we want to look at. This is because we have skipped it before. Often since childhood, each time we skip it, it seems more unpleasant. Number five. Live your belief. The biggest return from meditating with purpose is new information which comes in a variety of ways and particularly in the beginning, can't always be trusted. So live your belief. 
if only for a week or a day, trying them out is the best way to test them out. If the belief is too extreme, you can play it out in your mind. Intention number six. Know more. Know yourself. Know the environment and the universe more. Enjoy. Don't worry about what order to do it in. It'll come to you. Number seven. Trust in God, whatever you conceive him or her to be. Chapter four. Get happy. We make better decisions when we are happy. Look for the thoughts that bring you down. Analyse them. Are they based on fact? Very often, burdening thoughts are based on nonsense. The moment you make the realisation, the burden is lifted. Instant improvement that lasts a lifetime. Example. I had an irrational fear that I could suddenly go insane. I got the suspicion that it was a bit of a myth. I thought about it. I watched some films. I even went and got a job working with adults with learning disabilities. I already concluded that you couldn't just go insane. And working with those that might seem insane just confirmed insanity is a myth. So you may have many irrational beliefs that burden you when the subject comes up. I was preventing myself from experience some, experiencing something wonderful. I know the universe is wonderful. Do you? As you sit and meditate with purpose, errors in your belief system will pop up as disturbing sensations and or visions. There will always be enough info for you to understand the error, its cause and its remedy. Memories are the breadcrumbs that show you the way home. You'll know how far you've pro progressed by how much of your life you are able to fully recall. Chapter 5. Advanced Level Once you've recalled your entire life, you'll have encountered Mother and Father God, introduced to Source of All, Love, opened all your chakras, know who your soulmate is, have some idea of your previous lives and your purpose here. So you have no need for this book. Chapter 6. Common Blocks 1. Hopelessness is an error. There is always hope. Number 2. Trying to force an outcome or anticipating it will prevent it. 3. Substances can aid meditation, but believing you need it will prevent flow, as it is an error. Tip. All you need is love, is truth. You can get love from God if you ask for it. Try it. God will guide you to source. Number 4. A new sensation will always present a problem. It is by nature strange. You rely on your experience from previous successes to allow the flow and the glorious feeling when it does. Now you have grown in understanding. Sometimes you are left with a three or four word mantra that helps you through a future block. Number five. Tiredness is not good for meditating. If you need some sleep, get some. Number six. Eating a meal before meditating will not aid it, but meditating can aid food digestion. Number seven. Alcohol consumption is probably the worst thing you can do for meditation. Also, fluoride in toothpaste, tap water and cheap salt must be avoided as much as possible. Chapter 7. Ways to Aid Meditation Number 1. Seek God, your Creator. Number 2. Use cannabis responsibly. Number 3. Be more natural. Number 4. Associate with fewer groups. Number 5. Be calmer 
and more thoughtful. Number six, love all. Number seven, be you. Number eight, chapter eight, wonderful being, spirits of God, chakras, hormone organs. Spirit, colour, shape, organ. Justice, light blue, rod, pituitary and pineal gland. Patience, orange, pillow, thyroid. Faith, red, daisy, thymus. Mercy, green, small round, adrenaline glands. Wisdom, yellow, battery, pancreas. Peace, dark blue, big round band, ovaries. Goodness, violet, big round ball, testes. The hormone organs are for the soul. Chapter 9. Thoughts. Although it states in Chapter 3, Rule 2 is to be core-focused, our thoughts have a massive role to play. Thoughts are both visual and audible. Words too are visual and audible, so words play a big part in thought. But you can have thoughts for which there are no words. The thought must have come before the word. What about a thought like, Oh, I like that. The words are a reflection of the feeling. The feeling came first. Everything starts with a feeling, and the thoughts will react based on your belief. Example, you like a car based on the looks, but after closer inspection your feeling about the car changes. Chapter 10 Feeling First once you have noticed that the feeling precedes the thought, you can properly analyse all your beliefs. You can ask questions. This opens up a journey of discovery, as now you can sense the feeling that arises from your own question. Chapter 11 Bliss is just the beginning. A peaceful haze surrounds you. An impression of light is emanating from within you total bliss. It happens from time to time, but is by no means the best it can get. Whether it's bliss you like, or the feeling you get when you're on the scent of a new discovery, these feelings overwhelm us. They make anything else seem insignificant. They make us feel alive. That is the truth of it. Feel to be.